Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. First, the Shopping at a Mall Conversation PDF Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for shopping and getting around the mall with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the top 15 phrases for exchanges, refunds, and complaints. This one-minute lesson will teach you phrases like, I got the wrong size, can I get a refund, and much more. Third, how about online shopping phrases? With this quick lesson, you'll learn how to say, sign up, log in, add to cart, and much more in your target language. Access it right now. Fourth, want to know how to improve your speaking skills? This one minute lesson reveals all the top learning strategies that will get you speaking with confidence. Fifth, the Mother's Day and Father's Day writing worksheet. This bonus printable PDF worksheet teaches you the must-know vocabulary for Mother's Day and Father's Day. And you can even practice writing the words out. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Diana. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Mku Superior Mku Mku Superior Nina Paswa Nimpe Mku Wangu reporti kila asubui. I have to report to my superior every morning. Nina paswa nimpe mku wangu reporti kila asubuhi. Kampuni. Company. Kampuni. Kampuni. Company. Bitie ndie mfaidi mku katika kampuni hi. His daughter is the major beneficiary in this company. Bintie ndie mfaidi mku katika kampuni hi. Mshahara. Salary. Mshahara. Mshahara. Salary. Mshahara ni kiasi gani? How much is the salary? Mshahara ni kiasi gani? Radio. 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 Napenda kusikiza radio kabla ya kulala. I like to listen to the radio before going to sleep. Napenda kusikiza radio kabla ya kulala. Runinga. Television. Runinga. Runinga. Television. Nimenunua runinga bapa ya mchina arobaini. I just bought a 40-inch flat screen TV. Nimenunua runinga bapa ya nchi arobaini. Mtandao. Internet. Mtandao. Mtandao. Internet. Ningelipenda kutumia mtandao kwa saa moja. I would like to use the internet for one hour. Ningependelea kutumia mtandao kwa saa moja. 
gazeti, newspaper, gazeti, ga ze ti, newspaper. Ukimalizia gazeti langu, unirudishie. Return my newspaper when you are finished. Ukimalizia gazeti langu, unirudishie. Kituo cha habari. News channel. Kituo cha habari. Kituo cha habari. News channel. Niliwasha kituo cha habari jioni. I turned on the news channel in the evening. Niliwasha kituo cha habari jioni. Vyombo vya muziki. Musical instrument. Vyombo vya muziki. Vyombo vya muziki. Musical instrument. Kuna aina nyingi ya vyombo vya muziki. There are many kinds of musical instruments. Kuna aina nyingi ya vyombo vya muziki. Mchoro. Painting. Mchoro. Mchoro. Painting. Nilichora huu mchoro mwenyewe. I painted this painting myself. Nilichora huu mchoro mwenyewe. Ukumbi. Theater. Ukumbi. Ukumbi. Theater. Tuna tiketi ya kwenda ukumbini ijumaa hii usiku. We have tickets to the theater for this Friday night. Tuna tiketi ya kwenda ukumbini ijumaa hii usiku. Muziki. Musical. Muziki. Muziki. Musical. Niko na tiketi ya kwenda kujionea muziki. I got tickets to a musical. Niko na tiketi ya kwenda kujionea muziki. Opera. 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 O P R A. Opera. Opera ilianza Italiano katika karne ya 16. Opera began in Italy in the 16th century. Opera ilianza Italiano katika karne ya 16. Tulia. Relax. Tulia. Tulia. Relax. Tulia ufurahie sinema. Relax and enjoy the movie. Tulia ufurahie sinema. Ubao mweupe. Whiteboard. Ubao mweupe. Ubao mweupe. Whiteboard. Ubao mweupe ndiyo chombo nzuri cha kuelezea vitu vya picha. A whiteboard is a perfect means of demonstrating something visually. Ubao mweupe ndiyo chombo nzuri cha kuelezea vitu vya picha. Ubao blackboard Ubao U ba o Blackboard. Mwalimu huandika kwenye ubao. The teacher writes on the blackboard. Mwalimu huandika kwenye ubao. Mtihani. Test. Mtihani. Mm 
mtihani test mtihani wa jumatano utakuwa mgumu wednesday's test will be difficult mtihani wa jumatano utakuwa mgumu mwongozo textbook mwongozo mwongozo textbook mwakani tutakimaliza mwongozo wote during the year we will cover the entire textbook mwakani tutamaliza mwongozo wote mbele front mbele mbele front weka alama mbele ya jengo put the sign on the front of the building weka alama mbele ya jengo kazi job kazi ka zi job nilianza kazi hii mwaka jana i started this job last year nilianza kazi hii mwaka jana well done in this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words see you next time kwaheri want to learn these words even faster then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu these spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly so you never forget the words in this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Diana. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Rais President Rais Ra is President Rais amewasili The president has arrived Rais amewasili Kiwanda Industry Kiwanda Kiwanda Industry Kiwanda chote kinazimia sio kampuni chache tu The whole industry is in decline not just a few companies Kiwanda chote kinazimia sio kampuni chache tu Mshipi belt Mshipi M S H I P belt Msichana amevalia mshipi ya rangi ya nyekundu. The girl is wearing a red color belt. Msichana amevalia mshipi ya rangi nyekundu. Sarafu. Coin. Sarafu. Sa ra fu. Coin. Mashini hii chuuzi inachukua sarafu peke yake. This vending machine only takes coins. Mashini hii chuuzi inachukua sarafu peke yake. Pesa. Money. Pesa. Pesa. Money. Pesa hutumika kulipa bidhaa na huduma. Money is used as a payment for goods and services. Pesa hutumika kulipa bidhaa na huduma. Kadi ya ununuzi. Debit card. Kadi ya ununuzi.
kadi ya ununuzi debit card kadi ya ununuzi huchukua punde pesa hutoka kwenye account ya mnunuzi debit cards directly withdraw funds from the holder's account kadi ya ununuzi huchukua punde pesa kutoka kwenye account ya mnunuzi bili bill bili b li bill mushoe aliweza kulipa bili zake zote he finally managed to pay all his bills mushoe aliweza kulipa bili zake zote upigaji picha photography upigaji picha upigaji picha photography je unasomea upigaji picha are you studying photography je unasomea upigaji picha vua take off vua vu a take off vua viatu vyako kabla ya kulala take off your shoes before going to bed vua viatu vyako kabla ya kulala chumba cha kulala bedroom chumba cha kulala chumba cha kulala bedroom tazamo hutoka kwa chumba cha kulala ni nzuri the view from the bedroom is beautiful tazamo kutoka kwa chumba cha kulala ni nzuri jikoni kitchen jikoni g ko ni kitchen rudisha vikombe jikoni take the cups back in the kitchen rudisha vikombe jikoni bafu bathroom bafu bafu bathroom sabuni iko katika bafu The soap is in the bathroom. Sabuni iko katika bafu. Mahafali. Graduation. Mahafali. Ma ha fa li. Graduation. Mwanafunzi anahudhuria sherehe ya mahafali. The student is attending the graduation ceremony. Mwanafunzi anahudhuria sherehe ya mahafali. Panda cheo. Promotion. Panda cheo. Panda cheo. Promotion. Alipata kupanda cheo. He earned his promotion. Alipata kupanda cheo. Makumbusho. Anniversary. Makumbusho. Ma ku bu sho. Anniversary. Heri njema kwa makumbusho yako. Best wishes for your anniversary. Harry njema kwa makumbusho yako. Matanga. Funeral. Matanga. Ma ta nga. Funeral. 
kuna mila nyingi tofauti zinazohusika na matanga there are many different customs associated with funerals kuna mila nyingi tofauti zinazohusika na matanga harusi wedding harusi ha ru si wedding tujiandae kwa harusi yake let's get prepared for his wedding tujiandae kwa harusi yake kueleza explain kueleza ku e le za explain Unaweza nieleza hiyo mara nyingine moja Can you explain that to me once more Unaweza nieleza hiyo mara nyingine moja Nyuma back Nyuma new ma back nimeshaamua hakuna kurudi nyuma tena i made up my mind there is no turning back now nimeshaamua hakuna kurudi nyuma tena mashariki east mashariki ma sha ri ki east jua hukucha mashariki kila asubuhi the sun rises every morning in the east jua hukucha mashariki kila asubuhi well done in this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words see you next time kwa heri Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Diana. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is tie. Necktie. Tie. Ta e. Necktie. Usipovaa tai vema utaonekana mtu mvivu. If you don't tie your necktie properly, you look like a slob. Usipo va tai vyema utaonekana mtu mvivu. Suti. Suit. Suti. Su ti. Suit. Wanabiashara hudhania suti zao ni silaha ya mtindo wa kisasa. Businessmen tend to feel their suits are a sort of modern day armor. Wanabiashara hudhania suti zao ni silaha ya mtindo wa kisasa. Viatu vya michezo. Sneaker. Viatu vya michezo. Viatu vya michezo. Sneaker. Viatu vya michezo zimechafuka. The sneakers are dirty. Viatu vya michezo zimechafuka. 21. 21. 21. 21. Nambari 21 imepakwa kwenye mbao. The number 21 is painted on the wood. 
Nambari ishirini na moja imepakwa kwenye mbao. Ishirini na mbili. Twenty two. Ishirini na mbili. Ishirini na mbili. Twenty two. Nambari ishirini na mbili. Number twenty two. Nambari ishirini na mbili. Thelathini na tatu. Thirty three. Thelathini na tatu. Thelathini na tatu. Thirty three. Kitabu hiki kina kurasa thelathini na tatu. This book has thirty three pages. Kitabu hiki kina kurasa thelathini na tatu. Arobaini na nne. Forty four. Arobaini na nne. Arobaini na nne. Forty four. Arobaini na nne ndilo kodi la kitaifa la kupiga simu uingereza. Forty-four is the international country code for calls to the United Kingdom. Arobaini na nne ndilo kodi la kitaifa la kupiga simu uingereza. Hamsini na tano. Fifty-five. Hamsini na tano. Hamsini na tano. Fifty-five. Sentimita hamsini na tano ni sawa na inchi ishirini na moja nukta sitini na tano. Fifty-five centimeters is equal to twenty-one point six five inches. Sentimita hamsini na tano ni sawa na inchi ishirini na moja nukta sitini na tano. Mwanafunzi. Student. Mwanafunzi. Mwanafunzi. Student. Huyu ni mwanafunzi wa darasa la nane. This is a student from class eight. Huyu ni mwanafunzi wa darasa la nane. Kutazama. Watch. Kutazama. Ku ta za ma. Watch. Swala walikuwa wanyama wazuri kutazama. The impalas were beautiful animals to watch. Swala walikuwa wanyama wazuri kutazama. Darasa. Classroom. Darasa. Da ra sa. Classroom. Utawapata kingamani mwa darasa. You will find them across the classroom. Utawapata kingamani mwa darasa. Shule. School. Shule. Shu. Le. School. Kwa nini huja kuja kshule ni jana? Why didn't you come to school yesterday? Kwa nini hukuja kshule ni jana? Kiti cha kshule ni. School chair. Kiti cha kshule ni. Kiti cha shuleni. School chair. Nilinunulia mto kiti changu cha shuleni. I bought a cushion for my school chair. Nilinunulia mto kiti changu cha shuleni. Dawati. School desk. Dawati. Da. Wa ti. 
school desk. Kiti chenyewe kimeshikana na dawati la shule. The chair is attached to the school desk. Kiti chenyewe kimeshikana na dawati la shule. Kutumia mtandao. Surf the internet. Kutumia mtandao. Kutumia mtandao. Surf the internet. Mimi hutumia mtandao kila usiku kabla ya kuingia kwa kitanda. I surf the internet every night before bed. Mimi hutumia mtandao kila usiku kabla ya kuingia kwa kitanda. Kaskazini. North. Kaskazini. Kas ka zi ni. North. Dira wakati wote hutazama kaskazini. A campus always points north. Dira wakati wowote hutazama kaskazini. Kurejesha. Return. Kurejesha. Kurejesha. Return. Nilini ni lazima ni kurejeshe? When must I return it? Nilini ni lazima ni kurejeshe? Kuoga. Beth. Kuoga. Kuoga. Beth. Napenda kuoga jioni baada ya kazi. I like to bath in the evening just after work. Napenda kuoga jioni baada ya kazi. Kulala. Sleep. Kulala. Ku la la. Sleep. Ninataka kwenda kulala mapema leo. I want to go to sleep early today. Ninataka kwenda kulala mapema leo. Kusini. South. Kusini. Ku si ni. South. Kusini mwa Amerika ni inchi ya Mexico. To the south of the United States is the country of Mexico. Kusini mwa Amerika ni inchi ya Mexico. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Kwa heri! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swahili. Hi everybody, my name is Diana. Welcome to the 800 core Swahili words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swahili. Okay, let's get started. First is Mavazi ya kulala. Pajamas. Mavazi ya kulala. Mavazi ya kulala. Pajamas. Nataka kununua mavazi ya kulala mapya. I want to buy a new pair of pajamas. Nataka kununua mavazi ya kulala mapya. Sidilia. Brazil. Sidilia. Sidilia. Brazil. Sidilia nyeupe. 
white brazier sidilia nyeupe kwamka wake up kwamka ku a m ka wake up nahitaji gutuko kunisaidia kuamka i need an alarm to help me wake up nahitaji gutuko kunisaidia kuamka kusafiri commute kusafiri ku sa fi ri commute kusafiri kwenda kazini ni muda wa saa moja kwa hivyo sisi hutoka saa moja asubuhi kila asubuhi the commute to the office is one hour so we leave at 7 am every morning kusafiri kwenda kazini ni muda wa saa moja kwa hivyo sisi hutoka saa moja asubuhi kila asubuhi kula eat kula ku la eat kula chakula vizuri eat your food well kula chakula vizuri sana at sana sana at shule nyingi hazifunzi tena masomo ya sana many schools don't offer art classes anymore Shule nyingi hazifunzi tena masomo ya sana. Fasihi. Literature. Fasihi. Fa si hi. Literature. Odessi ni fasihi halisi. The Odyssey is a classic piece of literature. Odessi ni fasihi halisi. Cinema. Movie. Cinema. Cinema. Movie. Napenda cinema hii. I really like this movie. Napenda cinema hii. Muziki Music Muziki Muziki Music Wengine wanasema muziki ni lugha ya kimataifa Some say music is a universal language Wengine wanasema muziki ni lugha ya kimataifa Jibu Answer Jibu Jibu Answer Anajua jibu He knows the answer Anajua jibu Kufunza Teach kufunza kufunza teach yeye hufunza somo kwenye chuo kikuu she teaches classes at the university yeye hufunza somo kwenye chuo kikuu kuuliza ask kuuliza kuuliza ask ngojea kidogo naenda kuuliza mtu msaada please wait a moment i'm going to ask someone for help 
ngojea kidogo naenda kuuliza mtu msaada funga close funga funga close naweza kufunga dirisha hilo tafadhali can you close that window please Unaweza kufunga dirisha hilo tafadhali? Za Bath Za Za Bath Uchungu wa kuzaa aijue ni mama. The pain of birth is only known to mothers. Uchungu wa kuzaa aijuae ni mama. Fanya kazi. Work. Fanya kazi. Fanya kazi. Work. Mama yangu alifanya kazi ya ziada. My mother worked a part-time job. Mama yangu alifanya kazi ya ziada. Kuwasha. Turn on. Kuwasha. Kuwasha. Turn on. Mwanamume aliwasha stima. The man turned on the light. Mwanaume aliwasha stima. Kuzima. Turn off. Kuzima. Kuzima. Turn off. Simamisha gari na uzime injini. Stop the car and turn off the engine. Simamisha gari na uzime injini. Kula hotelini. Eat out. Kula hotelini. Kula hotelini. Eat out. Watu hupenda kula hotelini weekendi. People like to eat out on the weekends. Watu hupenda kula hotelini wikendi. Hudhuria. Attend. Hudhuria. Hudhuria. Attend. Mimi uhudhuria mkutano. I attend a meeting. Mimi uhudhuria mkutano. Magaribi. West. Magaribi. Ma ga ri bi. West. Jua hutua magaribi. The sun sets in the west. Jua hutua magaribi. Well done! In this lesson, you expounded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. See you next time. Kwaheri! Want to learn these words even faster? Then check out our flashcards inside the vocabulary menu. These spaced repetition flashcards track your progress and quiz you accordingly, so you never forget the words. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is, can busy people actually learn a language? 
You yourself probably have an answer to this question, right? But whether you can or can't actually has a bit more to do with your mindset than anything else. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? Two, mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking Online PDF Cheat Sheet. Learn the must-know internet slang and all the internet-related vocab and phrases in your target language with this PDF Cheat Sheet. And second, the 40 words and phrases for ordering food writing workbook. With this free resource, you'll pick up must-know words and phrases for the restaurant and practice writing them out as well. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Can busy people actually learn a language? Part one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? So can busy people actually learn a language? What do you think? Leave us a comment and let us know. As much as we want to say yes, it's more of a yes or no depending on the person. Why yes? Yes, because many of our members are busy and are learning with our system. And some of you who are watching also fall into this camp. But it also depends on the person because it's more of a mindset thing. Either you think you have time or you don't. For example, many of our members fall into the group of can learn and can find the time, even if they're busy. If you're busy and still want to learn, if you look around, you can always find five or 10 minutes a day, like on a commute. Now, if your mindset is the opposite, if you think you can't learn a language or you don't have time, you won't even try, even if you had a resource that was proven to work. Part two. Mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And if you think about it, if you had all the time in the world but felt like you couldn't learn a language, you wouldn't try either. Again, this is why it comes down to the mindset and why it all depends on each individual person. Either you think you can or you think you can't. But it may not always be this black and white either. It can also depend on your mental bandwidth too. Think back to your school days, those few days before exams. It got really busy and you had to stop everything to study, right? You were probably thinking, if I can just get through studying this week and take the test, then next week I can finally start relaxing and doing other things. And if someone asked you if you wanted to hang out, you would say no, because you're busy. But chances are you still managed to spend at least 30 minutes on YouTube or social media. Meaning you did have some time, even if you were busy. But the test was occupying your mind and taking up all that bandwidth. So it's also possible that we just don't have the mental bandwidth because we're overwhelmed. And this is a genuine reason for not being able to learn when you're busy. Don't worry, in the next part, we'll show you how to get some bandwidth so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Part three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. So if you've gotten this far, you understand that it is possible to start learning a language, even if you're busy, that you can find the time, but it mostly comes down to your mindset. So how can you develop the mindset? So when you're too busy, it feels like you're overwhelmed and like you don't have control of your time. Well, there are a few things you can do to gain some control of your time, have some breathing room and learn a bit of language. First, always set small, measurable goals. This is something that we talk a lot about here. For example, learn for 10, 15, or 20 minutes every day. Learn 100 words in one month, which means learning three to four words a day. And the mindset behind this is just being realistic with your goals and what you can do. Because if you're busy, you may not have one or two hours. And this is a strict rule, especially when starting out with new goals and languages. Always stick to small, measurable goals. Second, lowering your goals and expectations is okay when things get super busy. 
If you couldn't learn all 100 words for the month and only got up to 40 or 60, that's okay. If you tried learning on Monday and Tuesday but skipped Wednesday and Thursday, that's okay. Sometimes you have to shift priorities, and prioritizing things is a secret to a successful life. You may not get to the goal you wanted to achieve today, but you can get to it next week. Third, it's okay to put language on pause if life gets in the way. Just like with that last point, you can always come back and reach your goal a little later. We often see learners put language on pause, come back later. Some even come back years later. But the key is to come back. Fourth, avoid the all or nothing mindset at all costs. And an all or nothing mindset is something you'll see in beginners and perfectionists. When you have this mindset, you'll say, language learning requires hours, so there's no point in learning for a few minutes today. But something is better than nothing, and even five to 10 minutes of review adds up in the grand scheme. And in the grand scheme, it's more important to be consistent, even if it's just for a minute a day, rather than study for hours once a week. The brain just doesn't work that way. Fifth, do you have a slowdown or relaxing routine that you do on the weekends or whenever you have free time? And if you didn't do it, you'd feel overwhelmed? Leave us a comment and let us know what it is. For some, it could be reading, watching TV, or going to a cafe and doing nothing for a bit. You're there on your own, you don't have much to do in front of you, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. And if you're settled, you start feeling in control. And that's the point you have some mental bandwidth. You can start doing some time management and plan your week out. You can put in a few minutes of language learning. But if you don't slow down and if you feel overwhelmed, you could have the easiest possible way to learn a language. And you still wouldn't do it. So back to you. If you were busy, do you think you'd be able to learn a language? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Do you record yourself speaking your target language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. You say you want to learn and speak the language, but you never quite make the time for it. Well, what if we told you there's an easy way to make time and turn language learning into a habit without carving out time, rearranging your schedule, or changing your life? How to use habit stacking to learn and create a simple learning routine. Stick around. In today's guide, you'll discover one, how to use habit stacking to create a learning routine Two, how to learn language while you're on the go. Three, how to boost your vocabulary in under a minute a day. And four, how to learn while relaxing, plus more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. What's habit stacking? Habit stacking is an easy way to create new habits by stacking a new habit that you want to have on top of an existing habit that you already have. Why do this? Well, new habits are hard to stick with, but your existing ones are already built into your brain. So by stacking or combining an existing habit with a new one, you're much more likely to stick with it. For example, if you commute to work or school in the morning, use that time to learn the language. Listen to an audio lesson of ours. So here's what else you can do with our learning system. <laughs> Download the innovative language learning app for the iPhone or Android, and you can play our audio and video lessons, absorb practical conversations, pick up new words, phrases, and grammar rules, all during your commute. By the way, you can also apply this tactic to any other routine where it makes sense, like on a walk or while grocery shopping. Do you tend to check your email at a certain time of the day? If so, you can also pick up new words in your target language with our Word of the Day emails. With the Word of the Day, you get new words, translations, and sample sentences, all delivered to your inbox. And all of this takes just a minute or less. This service is free for anyone who has an account with us. 
If you tend to wind down in the evening with TV or podcasts, you can use that time to learn some language as well. Just turn on our lessons and play them in the background. Or you can play our vocabulary slideshows and passively review vocabulary in the same way. You can access vocabulary slideshows for free inside our vocabulary lists. By the way, if you've noticed, all of these suggestions include one, your existing habit like commuting, taking a walk, checking email, or relaxing in the evening, and two, your desired habit, learning a language. So if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're learning a language, the words and phrases that will come easiest to you will always be the ones you're interested in. Whether it's words with bad or funny meanings or phrases about yourself, such as where you're from or how old you are. So what if you could make your own printable vocabulary worksheets so you could review and practice writing out the words that you're interested in? How to create your own printable vocabulary worksheets. Well, stick around. In today's guide, you'll discover one, how to assemble your own word and phrase lists, two, how to create your own printable worksheets, and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. While you're learning the language, you should keep in mind what exactly you want from this language. Do you want to talk about yourself, your hobbies, or understand TV or music? Why? Because you'll naturally learn faster if you're learning about what you're interested in. So here's how you can assemble your own personal vocab lists. One, as you go through our lessons on the pathway, you'll likely come across words and phrases you want to remember. You could write them down, or you can send them to the Word Bank, which is a premium feature where you can store words and phrases for later review. So look for the Add to Word Bank button on the lesson page. Two, you can also save words and phrases from our free vocabulary list to the Word Bank as well. You can sort through hundreds of vocabulary lists by topics such as weather, hobbies, talking about your day, and more. So you can find words that you're interested in. And then click on Add All to Word Bank. Here's how you can make your own worksheets. Just go to the vocabulary menu and select Word Bank. There, you'll see your collection of words and phrases. Just click on Printer-Friendly Version to print them out. You can also click Export Word Bank. If you've organized and labeled your words into categories, such as verbs and adjectives, you can select that label and export it as a PDF. Then, go ahead and print the file out. You can use this worksheet to review the words or even write on it. So, if you just want ready-made printable worksheets and cheat sheets, then you can always unlock our free Conversation and Vocabulary PDF Cheat Sheets and PDF Writing Worksheets. These resources are free for members of our language learning system. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.